Lee, I know it took some persuading from you to get um, some members within the business to buy into investing in multi-axis technology. You've got here XYZ, multi-axis turning centers, two of them. How did you go about it and what was the justification and, and tell us all about that okay. side. Okay, so uh, we started off life as really pretty much as a manual kind of workshop. We had one or two small CNC machines. Um, we needed to get rid of times, we needed to automate the approach more. Um, so this was a way into that, into the CNC driven tool market. So it was a good way in. And you did make a, a statement to me a few minutes ago about the fact that if it wasn't for this machine, this XYZ CT52 LTY, you might not be in business today. Yeah, I think we were being uh, leapfrogged by a lot of our competitors. I think we were a long way behind before we started investing in machinery. So this, this machine, along with the investment in the other machines we've now got in the building, um, and then is the reason we are still here, to be honest with you, yeah. So let's get this right. With this model here, we're talking about a two inch bar machine. Uh, we're talking about driven tools. We're talking about a Y axis, single spindle though, correct? Yes, yeah, single spindle. Um, I think really where we need to be in, in the future, maybe it's a dual spindle sort of machine of this sort of size. But where we were a few couple of years ago when we started the investment cycle, um, this, idea, this machine was absolutely perfect for that. So very much fixed head technology. Now you've just invested yep. in a new sliding head from Star as we well. Have, yep. But this, this is driven by a Siemens control. How do you get your head round not only getting this type of machine into the business, which, which was pretty hard for you to do in the yep. first instance, but to get the guys to buy into it, use it, and yep. get the best out of it? I think the key to it is training. It's keeping everyone involved as well. It's keeping the staff motivated and showing them what can be achieved if we, if we just go with the training and, and believe in what we're trying to achieve here. And the story on the XYZ side, XYZ yep. have for many, many years uh, and are very successful in selling uh, their, their bed mills, their turret mills, their machining centers, their whole range of machines, yep. including turning centers now. They've stepped into the multi-axis arena in recent years. Yep. What, what would you have to say about this level of technology that they're offering? I think this has been the driving force behind the change in our business. Um, as I've already stated, I don't think, I think we would have struggled to remain competitive without this machine. So I think the new technology has definitely helped with us um, over our future. Yeah. And I know it's a fast machine and I want to look at this component yeah. here. Tell us about what you've got here and, um, and, and how you're going about machining it, what it is okay. and how Here's fast a, it is. A job we've been manufacturing for some years. Um, it's a job we've got great experience on. Um, and we've been, we've, the evolutionary stage of this job has been, has been quite, quite big. We've um, started making this job originally on a manual lathe, doing the manual turning. Um, and, then we, and then it was being moved on to a manual mill. We then moved that onto a, a traditional CNC lathe and then onto a CNC mill. And now we're able to do this job almost complete on the, C, on the LTY because we can put the holes in using the driven tool and the um, driven tool on the Y axis. How much time are you saving by doing it on this machine? I think, to be honest, we would have had a batch of around sort of maybe. 10 or 15 of these and we, we were on a manual approach you're looking at maybe a day's work um, now we're looking at this this particular component in my hand now has just come off the job with a 12 minute cycle including the holes um, we have to now put it back up and do the, do the second end but that's obviously a huge improvement from where we were so what, what's the bar diameter you're turning that out of uh, we're turning this out of uh, one and three quarter inch diameter so well within the two inch uh, uh, frame that we've got on there you you, mu you must have seen the benefit from this machine to enable you to then opt for the second machine which you yeah, purchased, correct. the TC320. Yeah. What's the differences between those two machines? Is it a bigger one from XYZ? It's a much bigger machine. The 320 is a much bigger machine. There's a lot more horsepower, um, a bar, three inch bar feeder, just a much, it's got a lot more grunt behind it if you like. Because you can buy these machines without that Y axis. Are you, are you, are you using the Y axis? We're using that Y axis daily. It's a big part of what we do. So. And, do, and for, for engineers that don't use a Y-axis at the moment, what, what would you say is the message about what that Y-axis does for you? It just opens up the milling a lot more than what uh, without the Y-axis. I think you can do a lot more milled shapes. I mean, this, this component here, obviously, it's just got a few holes around it, around the PCD. But the other components we do, the more complex components, we're using the Y-axis because it's, you can drive the driven tools around the component, really. And the programming side, I did touch on it very briefly earlier. The Siemens on here, are you using, yeah. are you using the shop turn to do all yeah. your programming? Yes, we're using the shop, shop turn as we do within our other areas of the business with a shop mill. So yeah, we're doing the shop turn, yeah. And do you find that easy? Certainly if you're looking at, at Y-axis sort of, um, using the Y-axis on the machines, that the functionality, is it there to be able to create those more programs for harder parts? Yeah, I would suggest that the, using the Y-axis with the, the shop turn is as straightforward as doing a turning operation on there anyway. So it was a big culture shock from our traditional machines 
move into this. But once we've got over that and we've had the support with the training from XYZ, we, um, we, we got around that and we, it's, it's good. Yeah. I'd be interested to kind of quantify the time it might take to go from, let, let's say I had just manual machines, to then be using this um, in you know, 100% to its capability. How many days, weeks or months would you say that, that could take? Oh, what a question. I think it's, um, it's quite hard to sort of put that into, into plan, really, into an answer straight up with that really. But however, I'd, what I would say is that the machine was delivered in, training was done within a week, I believe, commissioned all within one week. Um, and then we're really starting to see the benefit. And I think the more you get involved in that, the more work you do on it, obviously the better it's going to be. I'd suggest from a very manual approach, you're probably talking about maybe two, three weeks before you're really prof you know, proficient in actually doing it. So, so you could turn a business from, from, from what we're saying, a, a manual machining company into, into running machines that potentially can run lights out for you uh, in a matter of weeks? Oh, yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. With the right approach, the right drive and the right staff, uh, obviously with the support of the machine tool companies, yeah, you can do that. And what if you had a statement to, to say about XYZ's turning centres? One, one sentence, what, what, what may you say? I would say they were, they, were, they were good good machines. You know, they were good machines, they're reasonably priced and they're, um, yeah, fit for function if you like. They're good, good machines. On the milling side, yep. before we finish here, you've got XYZ machining centres. Yes. Would, would you say um, that they tick all the same boxes that you're talking about here with the turning? They do exactly what you need um, throughout your milling shop? Yes, I would. Yeah, I really would. I think the uh, we've one of the machines we've got, it's got the full axis on there. We've got two 710 uh, XYZ 710s, one of them with the full axis. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's made a big difference to us. So. It must be nice to be able to go to a supplier that can pretty much cater for all your needs, whether you're looking at manual turning up to this type of technology, isn't it? Yeah, I've been down to their site in Devon. Um, it's, they've got a, a, a large array of machines and options available. So. I personally learned on a uh, pro track when I was uh, in my, doing my apprenticeship, so obviously I know the machines quite well, so yeah.